Well, welcome to this video on deploying the Algo VPN server. I'm going to be going to DigitalOcean, and on the left hand side of the screen, I have the Algo instructions. On the right hand side of the screen, I have VirtualBox running Ubuntu 18.04. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change the size of the font and the size of the terminal window in Ubuntu just so it's a little bit easier to see me roll through these individual instructions as I follow along. And the GitHub page on the left does update over time, but as of this date, which is October 13, 2019, here's how you do it. So one of the first things you want to do is just go ahead and I'm in the, I'm in the home directory, logged in on VirtualBox, and I just want to see what directories I have in there. Those all look normal. And we're going to go ahead and download our algo scripts. We're actually going to pull it in from GitHub. So step one is go ahead and set up DigitalOcean. Now you can do that. I'm not going to show you how to walk through signing up for an account. I have confidence, but if you go down to the bottom, you get some free coin. So here I am. Just want to show you, I do have a DigitalOcean. I have it open another tab. And next step says, hey, go down and uh, pull down the algo files. Now, first thing I'm going to do is check to see if I have git loaded on this VM. So I'm going to type git dash dac v, and I don't have it. So I'm just going to go and follow the instructions provided, sudo apt install git. And go ahead and try to paste it in there because I'm being lazy, but oh, okay, fine, I'll just go ahead and type it. Anyway, you're going to go ahead and install git under your root password show your admin password and it's going to go ahead and install it's pretty quick follow the prompts go with the defaults everything will be fine You know, for the shorter, smaller installs, I'm just going to go ahead and run real time. But later when we do the algo install, I'm going to shorten that down and I'm, I'll have something to show you what speed I'm running at at that point. Okay, we're done. Uh, installed Git. The next step says to go ahead and download the algo scripts. Um, so let's go ahead and do that git clone command and pull in the algo scripts. Okay, we're there now. Go ahead and do an ls. On your home directory, notice you have Algo now. That's good. That's where your Git file has been running. And we're going to have to follow the instructions. So pay really close attention to the words that are in the instructions. Now, next set of instructions says, hey, go ahead and install Python, or if you haven't done it yet. So I just did a Python tag V. And, uh, well, it's not there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy from the instructions on the Algo site for installing the Python virtual environment and go ahead and hit enter and this also installs very quickly. Bada bing. Let's go ahead and clear the screen and now I'm going to show you an example of why you really need to pay attention to the instructions. So we did step three, let's go down to step four. And look, there's a bunch of uh, stuff in there. A little script we have to run. Let's go ahead and go ahead and paste that script in and go ahead and hit run and let it do its thing. It's basically installing the remaining dependencies necessary. Oh, we got an error. What the heck? We're following the instructions. Why do we get an error? Because we followed some, but not all of the instructions. Take a look. What do you think the problem is? Why is that a problem? Hmm, I didn't follow the instructions. The very first words, you'll need to run these commands from the Algo directory each time you download a new copy of Algo. So, <sighs> I'm dumb. Let's go ahead, CD into Algo, and then run that script again, okay? So, clear the screen, CD. Into Algo, Algo, excuse me. And now run that script. And we get past where the error is, and it's loading the rest of the dependencies. 
Now on my computer this part takes about 30 seconds, but it really kind of all depends. There's a lot of factors that can go into how long it takes, like what your bandwidth is, how much RAM you gave the, your virtual machine, uh, CPUs, things like that. But it should take, I'll just say, anywhere between 20 and 50 seconds. Okay, so next thing we're going to have to do, I'm going to clear the screen here, and actually what I'm going to need to do, or you're going to need to do, is go ahead and edit the config file. So I'm just going to close that terminal window, I'm going to open up a new one, and there's a number of different ways we can edit this config file. We could do VI, but you know, you don't want to, but you should. Anyway, I'm going to just go ahead and open up a text editor and go ahead and edit that config file. So what text editor do you want to use? There's a whole bunch in Linux. It depends on your distribution. Easiest way in Ubuntu is go up here and type in text. Get your text editor. Go ahead and open it up. Now in your text editor, go ahead and open a file. You're going to look in your algo directory, which is where we did our git clone uh, of the algo files. And you're going to look for the config.cfg file. Go ahead and open that up and after you open up that file you'll be able to now just go ahead and text I'm sorry type your text and save so right up at the top of that file are a list of your users and go ahead and add in a couple of users it's something that makes sense you can put individual users you can put type of machines completely up to you uh, if you want to have a guest account go ahead and type in guest whatever you please so I'm just going to go ahead and type in a couple of accounts that I want to have in here to share or use this VPN in other services. Because yes, I'm going to use my VPN server in the future. Probably not this exact one, but I'll be using something using the same exact scripts after I do some other stuff too. So I added friends and family as users for this particular instantiation I have of the Algo VPN and um, you know I would then be able to provide information to friends and family to be able to use this VPN server if I so wanted to. Now mind you the DigitalOcean or any other cloud server you're gonna be metered on the amount of traffic that goes through it so paying five bucks a month for a DigitalOcean baseline VM is great but if you use too much bandwidth you'll be paying considerably more money so be careful on lending out your algo stuff to everyone all the creds to get out there but hey really good in an emergency situation so now we've edited the config file let's go ahead and cd into our algo directory and we are going to run the algo install scripts Now, as we run these scripts, it's going to ask you for some things. Now, in this particular case, and I know I am using DigitalOcean, then it's going to ask you another question. What do you want to name it? I'm going to name it Combo VPN. That's just what I want to name it in this particular case. Okay, next question is, do you want to enable Connect On Demand for Mac OS IPsec clients? I'm going to go no in this case. Uh, just because I don't want whenever I'm using my Mac or iOS for it to automatically connect. Uh, next question, do you want to maintain the keys? PKI, required to add users in the future but less secret? Uh, you know what, in this particular case I don't really care. This is a test VPN server anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and hit no. But if you do want to change this in the future, make sure you type yes. And do you want to enable DNS ad blocking? Of course I want to do DNS ad blocking. That's a big yes on that one. Uh, what do we like about ads? Nothing. Now, do you want each user to leave their uh, own account for SSE tunneling? No, we don't want to do SSH tunneling. And now we're just going to let the scripts run. And this is going to take a little while until we get to the part where it says enter your API key. Oh, right here. Okay. So, now you need to go to DigitalOcean and generate an API key it's very quick I'll show you here on the screen in a second and you're gonna go ahead and paste that API key in so let's go to our DigitalOcean tab 
Okay, so the way I have this screen split right now really isn't very nice to find how to generate the API key. If you go to all the obvious looking places, go up there and create, nope, there's no API key up there. Uh, if you see down on the bottom where it says spaces access keys, generate new key, nope, that, you don't need that either. We're not using spaces. But you do notice there's a little scroll bar on the bottom. Let's go ahead and move that scroll bar over and uh, look what you see there. Oh, generate new token. Let's go to generate new token. There you go. So now name the name the token name. I'm going to call it Combo VPN because that's the name of the VPN server. That kind of makes sense. Go ahead and click a generate token and you'll get a token. And what you can do here is go ahead and copy that token. And that's what we need in VirtualBox. In, I'm sorry, in the Ubuntu server for uh, continuing on with the Algo installation. Let's go ahead and paste that in and continue to let the Algo installation script run. Okay, uh, enter what, which one you want to use for Algo. I'm going to go with, I think, uh, New York 3. And, you know, just pick one that's close to you and, you know, don't think about it too hard. Uh, wherever you pick is where the IP is going to be based out of, of course. Let's go back to the instructions. Now, this part I've sped up to 15 times speed because it, let's say it could take anywhere between seven and 20 minutes and you don't want to hear me tap dancing for seven to 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this roll real quick. Okay, we're almost done and voila now we get to see what you see in the instructions I blurred out the exact keys on the server just because I don't want you wasting your time trying to use a VPN server that's not yours and probably that I've destroyed anyway as soon as this was over but this information is really important so what I do highly recommend you do is you go ahead and copy this information put in a text file do what I do I like to throw it into a password manager have it encrypted save it um, however you need it but you do want to copy and save that information I think what I'm going to do here is let me go ahead and open up a text editor and go ahead and paste that stuff into a text editor and file and I'm going to save that file to my algo directory yes I have a password in an unencrypted file on a server but you know not to worry this VM is only going to run occasionally and uh, as soon as I am done pasting this into my password manager, I'm probably going to go ahead and delete this file anyway. So I'm not too worried. And also, I mean, if someone owns my machine enough where they can go through and search for clear text passwords, uh, I'm pretty much hosed as it is. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. Anyway, go ahead and create the text file. Go ahead and paste it in and save it. And go ahead and close that. Um, again, I just saved it to the algo directory and now I'm going to go back and let's come up here and what should we do? Let's clear the screen. Yeah, let's clear the screen first and then we're going to move on. Well, that's about it. We're done installing the VPN server. I'm just going to go to my VM share directory. In the directory is the file we just saved that has the passwords. Now go on to the algo instructions and configure the VPN clients as you desire. That's it for now. Until next time, aloha.